Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time you're coming into and watching this podcast. I appreciate it. Thank you for joining Telemate Dreams TV. Appreciate everyone for, um, but like I said, man, um, you know, just, just the support, the love, all that good stuff, man. All that good stuff. Um, so today is Telemate Dreams leaving YouTube for good. Well, I'll answer that. I'll answer that. But I can tell you this. Um, I have been on a journey since uh, January to just, you know, do things differently. You know, um, you know, you get older, you start looking at life a little bit different. And um, anyway, we'll get into all that um uh, right at the i come back uh y'all know how we normally start the show so let's go ahead and uh no matter where we are Let's remix this thing. You're not tuned in to Taylor Made Dreams TV. TV. From Atlanta to Border Platter to Thailand. Living this life that you dream of. Can you dig that? Looking at the bluest ocean that you ever seen. This my definition of living an American dream. There's different views when you on these levels that I'm on. Looking at this beautiful country. Sitting on my throne. Cover sitting at the bottom of the swimming pool. Besides you rose on my back. Baby, you know I'm a jewel. What's going on, fam? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Uh, all right. What's up, proof? Says salute from Mexico, man. I know you down there killing the game in Mexico, brother. Especially since you are fluent in Spanish, man. I'm jealous. I'm jealous of those Spanish skills, brother. What's up, Rohan? He said, "Say it ain't so." Yeah, yeah, man. He said, "Why now, OG?" We'll talk about all that. What's up, Deborah? He said, hello. She said, hello from Atlanta. Hello from Thailand, Miss Deborah. Damien, what's going on? He said, I hope this is bait and I hope this 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 is bait and switch. Nah, ain't no bait and switch, babe. Uh, what's up, saying? So what up, Russ? Now nah, bro. <laughs> I'm still learning from you, big fella. Oh man, what's up? Well, I appreciate it. Yeah, man, you know, um, I'm gonna tell you since the beginning of the year. I have um, got out of a lot of chat groups I was in. Um, just, you know, kind of taking more of a sideline view of things, man. Uh, you know, when I first when I first got into YouTube, when I first got into it, you know, I was posting up videos, man, from my backyard living in Stockbridge, Georgia, um, going down to the DR. Uh, matter of fact, I started posting in YouTube a few years after I lost my daughter. Uh, just as, I, I guess, just, you know, to uh, share a different journey with people, man, and, and, and sort of catalog my shit. Uh, and then I discovered Sasua, you know, back in the day. And y'all know, man, my story, man, I went down there and, you know, I got there on a shit, I think on a Wednesday and my Friday, man, I laid down some money <laughs> to buy that condo, which was crazy considering that was my only my first time there. But it was a good decision then and it's, it's still a good decision now. Um, but, I, you know, but I'm saying, you know, it's, it's like hip hop music, you know, how and I, you know, and I was definitely. Um, around when hip hop music was was born um you know how it started out with you know just about partying and being happy and, and then it got into the consciousness um with with other brothers and then it just went to and then it just went to nigga bitches and hoes you know uh and and, and for me man what i'm seeing with even within the uh traveling community especially within the black travel community it's getting that same way you know and me i don't want to be a part of it you know 
Uh, I, I, you know, brothers like Charles Tyler, when he first came on the scene, man, he was talking to people about Brazil and, and trying to do something positive. When I came on the scene, I was trying to follow uh, the same path that brother Charles, Charles Tyler, even though we didn't know each other at the time, the same path that he was on, just trying to show brothers, man, that there is um, a light at the end of the tunnel that we need to start considering uh, doing things differently, moving differently, uh, envisioning ourselves differently, seeing ourselves somewhere else, investing differently, opening up bank accounts. So it's, I mean, just doing it, you know, doing something that America have been telling you, you know, is scary to do. Don't do it. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's reserved for them. And, um, I mean, because I never saw myself with a vacation home, you know, overseas. You know, none of that shit, man. None of that shit. But, uh, you know, made it come into fruition. Was able to take some other folks on the journey. Created a, a, a hell of a strong uh, community, expat community in DR. That's still strong today. Uh, so, you know, uh, was able to get involved in orphanage. Watch these babies grow. You know, um, still supporting the orphanage, still supporting um, Jennifer. That's the young lady who's in the orphanage. She's getting ready to enter her second year in college in June because, you know, school starts early in, um, in DR. And um, if anybody want to send some donations to help, we, we got, like I said, it's, on, you know, it's only $3,000 a year. So last year we were able to... Um, Take care of her with that, with the school, the books. She got a phone, the whole nine yards. Um, so if anybody want to help with that, hey, send that donation. Um, so, you know, and, and now brothers are going to the orphanage, a lot more brothers, because I've been encouraging cats, man, just don't send money. When you get over there, man, um, give me some of your time. Let me let me take you over there and see where your money was going. And now there's, there's brothers who just, they get to DR, they drop food off, they, they drop, um, you know, candy off, they do pizza parties, they do things for the, I mean, man, so it's, it's a beauty, even with me not being there. So I did my job, I, you know, uh, a lot of brothers I'm seeing down there in DR, and not just in DR, you know, now own um, property, you know, in other countries, and, you know, in Brazil, and in, in, in Colombia, Thailand. So, um, you know, I like to, you know, say I was a small part of that. And uh, I did my job, man. But like I said, man, there's just, just too much negativity about that, about it now, man. Cats are jealous, get on there and clown on each other, man. It's like, man, I don't want my, I don't, I don't want to be associated with that bullshit. So for me, you know, it's like, I mean, I, I always told you, man, YouTube was not a job for me. I wasn't supplementing it <laughs> for no income. Other cats have made businesses out of YouTube, and God bless them. They're doing very successful. Brothers like O'Shea, Ace, Check, and Effect, so on and so forth. And I'm happy for the brothers, man. Those Because they're doing, and they're putting out some good things. They're putting out positive messages. Um, but, man, with those other clowns is coming up in it, man. I've had people, you know, trying to, you know, raise their profile off trying to clown me. That shit don't bother me. The only one time I really got under my skin was when the guy started talking about the kids at the orphanage. And I'll admit I lost it. I put out a video that I took down. But, um, you know, even that right there, man, it's like, these cats have no boundaries, man. They have no self-respect. Uh, a lot of, now you got some black YouTubers who are doing their thing. And I'm proud of these, these you know, young men and women. But you got other people, man, just make the community look oh, so bad. Oh, so bad. You know, so bad. And I'm like, man, I'm, you know, man, I ain't trying to be a part of that bullshit. Brother Charles, what's going on, sir? What's going on? I mean, I was thinking about you on my walk the other day, man. 
I was thinking about you. We gotta talk again, man. You gotta give me, you gotta, you gotta put down a date, brother, when you coming down. You gotta put down a date. Give me a date, brother. D-A-T-E. Let me know. Uh, Sammy says, nah. uh, Douglas says, why not give it a break? I'm your age. Time to relax and enjoy life. Find a good woman to settle down. Yeah, I, I don't know about finding a good one. Well, I can, I need two good women. You know, I'm, I'm a polygamist, bro. <laughs> but, uh, but uh, yeah, brother, you know, I agree with you. It's time. What's up, Chris? So what up, Russ? Where is the orphanage? I'd like to get involved. Orphanage is right, it's right near the airport, man. It's right near the airport. Casa Nina Felicia's orphanage. Casa Nina Felicia's orphanage. It's, it's right near the airport. Matter of fact, if you leave the airport, turn left like you're heading towards the sewer, it may be um a four-minute ride. A four-minute ride. I think you can put it in your GPS when you get there. So, uh, yeah. But if you need any information on it, hit me up on my IG, Taylor underscore made underscore dreams, and I'll give you some information. That's not a problem. Get your dad says you a you a you a huge reason you a huge reason for opening brothers' eyes up. Respect due to you, Russ. My man. Appreciate that, man. And that's and that's all I wanted to do, man. Just like you know, um, let, let brothers know, man. There are other there are other opportunities way beyond the bullshit that they're telling you in the matrix. Um, that you can find that American dream, but just not in America. <laughs> you, the American, that's bringing the dream. That you know, that's creating your own dream. That's the thing. That's the thing. Island Breeze says you definitely get Red Fox. Red Fox. I, think I like Red Fox. <laughs> so I'm going to take that as a, as a compliment. Uh, Damon says, damn, it's a sad day in YouTube. But I understand. Yeah, well, I ain't off yet, man. You know, but I just ain't want to disappear but like i said man I, I think it's it's about that time you know man i mean come on bro i often i put out a video i've been putting out videos like once a week sometimes twice a week sometimes once a month you know alonzo what's going on man always good to see you brother why are you even what why are you even let these boys raise your dead why are you even let these boys raise your dangerous cut dander I think you I think you say why are you leaving let these boys raise your dander? Um man, it's it's not that anybody's raising my dander. It's you know, it's 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 like anything, man. You know, you you sit back, you observe, you look, and you know, you, you don't like what you see. You see, you know, where it was clear water, it's just getting muddy and muddier, man. Um like I said, right now, I, I mean, I ain't got no beef with nobody, bro. Um, you know, I know people try to throw shade at me all the time, but uh, but that's a small percentage, man, because I get so much love from people, man. When I when I walk down the street, I ain't hiding from nobody. I ain't hiding from nobody. I get recognized everywhere. But there's only one country I traveled to that I didn't get recognized, and that was in Cambodia, it's literally literally every country I've been to, I've got recognized by somebody. Well, two, Madagascar and, and, and Cambodia. Um, and it's all love, you know, it's all love. So it's, 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 it's not that I dwell on that, that, that bullshit. It's just, you know, man, listen, <clears throat> you know, when, when it, when it's time to change course, it's time to change course. That's all it is, man. It, it, it ain't, it ain't no, it ain't no big, sad thing. <laughs> you know, it's really not. What's up, Skrilla off the off the grid vlogs? What's happening? Uh man showing some good stuff in Malaysia. Malaysia got some hot clubs that I didn't even know about that that Skrilla put me on to. So uh we'll be there next month. In fact, going out, uh, and I can't even say who I'm going down there with because these these 
these Negroes fly under the radar. But be down there <laughs> next month checking out those new spots, man. So y'all want, I'm telling you, man, Malaysia, that's sleeping giant. So if y'all want to know something about Malaysia, um, check out Skrilla. Skrilla off the grid vlogs. That's a sleeping giant, I'm telling you. So what if KW says when you first started living abroad, what were your limit? What were your limiting beliefs? How did you get over them? Big shouts from Toronto, Canada. Well, I'm gonna tell you, um, I had a I had an unfair or fair advantage in that I was in the Navy and I got to travel when I was young. I got I was in the, I went to the Navy when I was 23. Normally people go in there and they were they like 18, 19. But I went into the Navy at, at the ripe old age of 23. And when I started and what I started noticing, man, like people like, you know, it, 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 it's widely known. And you could ask anybody in the black community that, man, that, you know, you're told, man, if you go if you go to over there, people are going to treat you bad and not going to like you because of the color of your skin. You know, Germans don't like you. English people don't like you. Don't nobody like you. And. I found out that was all bullshit. Man, I got so much love in all these countries. England, Germany, step France. Uh, <laughs> uh, all through the Caribbean, man. Down in Panama, Turkey. Oh my God, Turkey. Istanbul. Oof. Um, even Israel, man, got some love. We made a stop at Israel one time. Um, and I said, man, all this stuff they were saying was bullshit. And even after I got out of the military, man, you know, that it just kind of planted that seed for traveling. So I didn't travel for a, a, a number of years after I got out. And, um, and then, man, started dealing with, like, my PTSD, my depression, all that good shit. And uh, a friend of mine was going to Panama. And he was like, man, you still got your passport? My passport had expired at this time. And I said, no, but I'm going to go ahead and get it again. And I, and I got my passport again. Uh, and I went, to, I went on my first trip back to Panama. And I hadn't been to in uh, many years. And man, it's just that feeling just came back. Dylan came back. And matter of fact, I, when I was in Panama, I said, you know something, man? The first time I went back to Panama after getting out the military, I said, I'm going to retire here. I, I, just, I, I just, you know, I didn't know anybody who did it. I didn't know any, I didn't have any, like, people who I'm watching, following or anything that tell me, hey, these are some steps. But I know it, it could be done. I just I just knew. And man, when I went to Panama that one time, I just knew United States, I can never live in. Um, after I get my money together, my you know, get my finances, all that stuff, I knew it was it was a wrap. And then from there, man, just kept going. Just kept going, brother. Just kept going. Um that it the fear it kicks in when you I think. Not when you're planning on doing it. It's like when you make up your mind to do it. You, that intrepidation kind of kicks in, especially when you got everything set. You're getting ready to pull that trigger. But you're like, hey, man, you know, I'm, I'm going into a total different space, going outside of that box. And then you realize, man, ain't nothing scary about it. <laughs> I'm telling you, realize there's nothing scary about it. And that those things you believed about how people were going to perceive you, how people were not going to like you. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm not saying that they don't have prejudices in other countries. They do. Some things, but some things ain't, ain't pre pre prejudicial, prejudicial, you know what I'm saying, prejudice against you or your color. Some things just prejudice against, um, you know, not even prejudice. It's just a cultural thing. It's, that's it. You know, there's no like in DR, uh, people cut in front of you in line at a supermarket and you'd be like, hey, you know, in, in the States, somebody do it. And you like you, it, it passed through your mind. 
But no, they do it to everybody. And you go to other cultures, you see how they interact with other people. And you, and you say, oh, this ain't nothing against me. Ain't no prejudice against me as a, as a foreigner or even as a black person or none of that. It's just cultural. And, and I'm going to tell you, man, it's, if you're a person that, that can open up your mind, man, and just start seeing people for people and love people for people, you're good to go. You're good to go, man. So um, all those limits, shit, forget about them. It, it, I ain't saying it's easy to do, but it's easier once you take that trip. <laughs> it's definitely easier once you take that trip. And, and connect with people in the community. That's what I would say. Connect with some expats. There's always expats, no matter where you go. Always me. Always find people um, from America living in other countries. I don't care where I go, where I've been. And I'm telling you, once you start hearing the, the count of this person, the count of that person, this person account, how they did it, man, you'd be like, oh, shit. And now with so much of this shit on YouTube and cats you can follow who's actually living over there, man, it's an easier, it's an easier ride than when I was doing it, brother. Trust me, because I ain't know anybody was doing except brother Charles Tyler, who moved to who actually moved, made that move to Brazil, but unfortunately passed away. So it was I couldn't even like follow his journey for a long time because the brother, you like, you know, shortly after he got there, unfortunately. Um, the brother died too soon. Zookeeper, man, thank you for the super chat, brother. Appreciate you. He says, I'm a veteran. So in my mind, the international lifestyle was primarily a gateway for military men. Absolutely true. Um, the internet has greatly expanded a view that many could not see before. In turn, it draws the unacceptable behavior from some. True that too. Yeah, um, and and it's crazy because unless you were in the military, you didn't have that exposure to living abroad, seeing other people, how they really live abroad. You know, because, I mean, YouTube is sort of like the real reality TV um, to an extent. Because, you know, reality TV, I know I know a writer for reality TV and ain't none of that shit reality. It's, that shit is scripted. <laughs> Um, except some scenes he said when people really go off the, you know, go off the <laughs> off script because they pissed off at whatever. But when cats are living their life and showing you this restaurant, that restaurant, talking about their experiences, that's reality. And that's what, you know, I wanted people to be able to see that, hey, man, I'm actually doing it. Yes, I actually went down here and purchased the condo. Yes, I actually went down here, you know, um, setting up um a business with somebody else from the island or whatever and like i said you know i think youtube was a great gateway great great gateway for people who were not in the military man that you can have that experience um because i'm gonna tell you before i moved overseas before i left and, and went to dr man all i used, used to do on the weekends i promise you i get home from work about 6 30 right I run my favorite spot restaurant, grab some food, um, grab a couple, you know, grab a bottle, you know, if I wanted a couple of cocktails, and I go up in my office right there in Stockbridge, and I'd watch YouTube all fucking night. I'd watch cats all night that was living overseas, living their dreams. I, that's what I did. That I'm telling you, man, that was that consisted my entire weekend. Our weekend in my office watching YouTube, watching other cats, man, living overseas, telling me how they're doing it, what they're doing. That's all I was doing. The only problem back then, there was nobody that looked like me doing it. So they were sharing with me their experience, but uh, I wanted to know from my community what that experience would be. I had some hands-on experience being in the military, but that was just taking trips. That was really a quick vacation. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but not living there because there's a difference between visiting a place and and living in a place. The scenery changes once you live there. So uh, I'm just glad that uh, that people are taking advantage of 
man. So uh, thank you, brother, again for the for the uh, for the super chat. All right, W Seekers to success. I just wanted to show some love. No question, no statement, just showing love. Appreciate it, brother. Uh, Roman says, I remember when you had to scold check, but he was out of but he was out of luck, but it was out of love. Tell him he could have a hundred K followers one day. Now he has 400 K. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I remember that, man, because I we that's when I did a, a marathon, man. It was like 20 YouTubers. And we did a marathon, man, trying to matter of fact, that day we did six hour YouTube. And I was giving out money. I gave out money every hour. Like I was giving out twenty dollars every hour, just answer a simple question. And yeah, and Chet was supposed to be on that panel, uh, but I had called the brother, and I said, "Hey, man, you know, because he had he had did something uh, that was that was that wasn't in his characteristic. Because you know, Chet is Chet is a Chet is a good brother. Um, and I said, brother, I can't, I can't, I can't put you on." You know, I said, and it's not that I'm trying to come down on you. I'm just doing it out of love. And he respected that, man. And he respected, so I got to give him his props. And he didn't know that I was watching him one night, man. And he was talking about the situation, right? So this is nothing that that hasn't been out there. Thank you, Rohan, for bringing that out. Uh, and, and he was talking about the situation. And then I came into, uh, I sent him a super chat. Sent him, sent him some, sent him some, some loves, you know, some money, and told him, man, uh, how much I respected the brother, uh, you know, and uh, man, I, and I've been, I watched him do great things, and you're right, man, he, he didn't have a hundred, I don't think he had fifty thousand followers at that time, but I told him, man, you got to stay, you got to stay focused with the trajectory that you're on. Don't let people throw you off. Don't let people throw you off, man. And uh, he didn't. He stayed focused after that, man. And I'm happy for the young man. I'm, he surpassed me. Anything I ever dream of doing in YouTube. And that's all right. Because like I always tell people, I've never done this for a job. This has always just been a hobby to me. Uh, so it's not to supplement my income or to allow me to be able to travel. If I never do another YouTube channel, I can still travel tomorrow. I can still live my life. There's nothing going to change. Um, but like I said, I wanted to be a vehicle of information, especially to men, especially to men, especially to cats, older cats too. Like, hey, man, I want you to see retirement in a totally different way, totally different way. I watch cats now that's retired. You watch cats that's retired in the U.S. and you watch cats that's retired overseas and they look like two different versions. Two, two different species. The cats overseas, they always look a lot healthier, definitely a lot happier. <laughs> definitely a lot happier. Sound different, dress different to um, a certain degree, man. So, you know, I just want to let people know, man, hey, let's, let's, look, at, let's look at this from a total different point of view. What's up, Doc? He said, hey, Russ, I haven't seen you since we went to King. <laughs> oh, man. He said, I haven't seen you since you went to King with me on my birthday. What's up, bro? <laughs> I know, listen, when you said birthday and King, I already know. Man, we had a night. Woo, we had a night. Woo, my God. Uh, when you need you need somebody to celebrate your birthday with you again, let me know, brother. I'm available. <laughs> You're my boy, Tim. Man, oh my god, that night was crazy, crazy. So, ah, uh, nah, Tim D, don't go, bro. He said, I remember when when Russ had to. Oh yeah, I read that. Sorry, man. Uh, chess over checkers. Hey, all right. I love that chest over check. Yeah, that's all it is, man. That's all it is. Gaethje, what's going on, brother? So I love saying how we, all right, in the beginning, we treating each other overseas. 
Never experienced that in the United States. I didn't either, man. I didn't either. And uh, it, 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 it's, it's a beautiful thing, man. But even some of that, now I'm saying majority is still like that. But even some of that, man, you, you got these clowns, you got these pookies and ray rays just kind of, you know, it's 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 like, you know, the trash is following. So uh, not to a large degree, not to a large degree, because if you look at if you look at the overall um, macro, um, everything is good, but it's those micro those loud people who always, you know, just start shit up or always sending out negative shit. I mean, that's why I got out of some of these groups, man. Cause you know, I get up in the morning, sometimes, you know, I'll go through my, go through my, my WhatsApp and, you know, some stuff that just put a smile on your face, make you laugh. Some cats just start off negative, man. Oh my God. And it's like just bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. And some of these chaps, chats, man, all you see is they guys posting chicks twerking. Man, if I never see another chick twerk, I'm happy. I, 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 I ain't going to bullshit. I'm sick of seeing chicks twerking, you know. I think I had enough of it once those ratchet women went to Ghana and twerked on sacred ground. I'm done with twerking, so, and, I, and I'm telling you, man, so I had to, like, kind of just, every time I see, like, if I see chat groups, just, like, it's like, where's the administrators of these chat groups, man? Because me, you put that crazy, you put crazy negative shit in my chat group, I throw you out. I'm like, nah, dude, this this ain't the one for you. This ain't the one for you. We, we trying to, uh, we trying to uplift some people. To hangover three, man. I, I ain't have hangover three days. Mine was two days though. I ain't gonna lie to you. I I, I couldn't leave. I, I stayed in my condo for two days. And thank God I had some food. Well, there's always grab if you don't have food too. Man says if you don't need the money, don't work yourself so silly. The, uh Silly like some of these guys just make it a hobby. That's all it is, man, for me. I mean, that's why, you know, I come on when I want to come on. I don't come on like, ah, I got schedule, I got to do that. I'm out of schedules and all that other shit, man. I, I, I've been over that. Been, I'm done with all that shit, man. I'm done with all that. Uh, like I said, man, I'm going to tell you, my YouTube money, man, listen, it, it, it helps pay for those goddamn business class flights over here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? On well, my bar bill, but um, like I said, uh, but the best thing I've gotten off YouTube, man, was my network. I, my network, I know, would not be as strong as it is had I not did my YouTube channel. And that's why I've encouraged other people. To, that network of people, man. I mean, I've met, now I, I got cats, man, but I need just a quick doctor's opinion. I, I met cats who's doctors. Like, hey, give me their cell number. Like, if you got any issues, give me a call. I call them up. Other cats like doing investing. Like, I may call up. You know, this is what they just stay on this investing thing, day in, day out. Um, you know, meet my my boy Reg. Meet some other cats, man. Um, just strong, strong network of people, man. Strong network of people. Um, and, uh, I, I, bro, I, I can't even take credit for it. You know, I really can't, man. Just like cats who say they follow me. I'm like, follow me. I mean, cats with, you know, I mean, serious dudes, you know, serious dudes. I mean, serious, successful cats, man. I've been more fucking millionaires in the last three years than I've ever known the entire 61 years of my life. And I mean, these cats, you know, they ain't braggadocious, nothing, but you, you know, a tax bracket they in. And I mean, man, and they like seeking me out. And I'm like, damn, that was, that kind of blew my mind. So uh, my network of people, man, uh, I just, 
you know, I, I thank God for it, honestly. Yeah, health and wealth. Yeah, man, if you don't have that, brother, if you don't have that, you don't have anything. Yeah, and I got to get back. Um, I got to get, well, I'm, I'm back to, you know, getting back into my routine. But I need to get back in the heavy, man, because, uh, like I said, when my doctor said, all right, I don't need to see you every three months now. Because uh, anytime you have kidney issues, like every three months, it's like clockwork. You got to see your doctor. My doctor pushed it back to six. But when I came back from DR, man, you know, all those beans and rice and potatoes and fried this, fried that, fried plantains, I put on some weight. And he said, I need to see you in three months. We need to go back in three months. He said, let me see how you're doing at that point. So um, I don't need to see him to June. So I like really got to get that weight and everything back down before then. But yeah, your health and well, but absolutely. Nephew says, um, yeah, that's that's why I don't go hard on YouTube. I like to go places where a lot of us are not or can't get to. Um, it's very peaceful once you remove that element. I, I agree with you. I agree with you. Uh, and that's why, like I said, there's some places, man, on my hit list that I'm getting ready to hit. Um, I'll never put out. <laughs> uh-uh, 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 man. I, I, <laughs> man, let me tell you something. If you, if you find a place that is like, oh, shit, pristine, I ain't. I mean, just like vacation spot, bro. Keep it to yourself. Include your inner circle and keep it to yourself because I won't be sharing every goddamn thing. Believe me. Yeah, Kareem, I, 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 I lost, I lost weight. I, I lost, I was, I, when I came to Thailand, I was 260. When I went back to DR, I was 215. When I came back to Thailand, I, I went up to 235. But now I'm kind of, I'm, I'm heading back in that, that down direction. But I need to get back under that two mark. That, well, my goal is 195. But right now, if I get back to that 215, I'll be happy. So why did you start drinking again? Do you have a problem with booze? I've had a problem with booze for years. That's never been a secret. Never been a secret. I never told anybody that was a secret. <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> Fonz is back. Yeah, where you at, man? You still in the States? You still in the States? Or what you up to, bro? What you up to? Uncle Pat, what's going on? What's going on? He said, on oh, my way. Yeah, man, I, I saw your post this morning, man. I saw her uh, sell, selling the bike. So anybody in DR need a good scooter, look Uncle Pat up. <laughs> he got a bad one, too. He got a nice scooter. Sound system, lights, the whole nine yards. Nicholas James, he says, business class flight. Man, I know that's expensive. <laughs> I'm just looking at comic flights from um, DFW to BKK. Yeah, man, but you know something? Um, man, at this, look, at this, at this age stage, bro, I, I can't, I can't do, even if, even if you do, right, man, I, I normally take the whole thing. But even if you do that that first leg, which is the longest leg, like 14 hours, even if you do that in business, trust me, you feel a whole lot different. But me doing um, going back and flying here in non-business, I can't do it no more, bro. I can't. I, I don't got spoiled now, too. So, uh, man, I would feel like shit. I would... I would feel like somebody, I would feel like I just got into a fight with Tyson and Floyd Mayweather and they kicked my ass when I got off the plane. If I don't do that business, I, that's how my body would feel. Uh, so nah, man, I, I can't do it, bro. Uh-uh, I can't do it.
All right. N NWC King stopped by to salute my brother, Russ. Salute you back, King. Thank you, man. Appreciate you, man. New York is what? What the hell is going on with New York, man? I don't even recognize New York. No more. Oh, my God. What the hell? <laughs> I told you, no team, no coach. All right, you got to help me out with that one. Oh, and, all right, in the matrix still. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, understand, understand. Man, I think I did maybe six days in the matrix. No, seven days. Seven, maybe eight days in 2023 in the matrix. And I'm trying to do less this year. But I think I did maybe seven to eight days total in the Matrix last year. I, I just, I just, uh, I can't. Uh. <laughs> no flying coach, fine. Not, 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 not on them, these long international flights. Nah, man, can't do it. Can't do it. Listen, you can't, you can't take it with you. You can't take it with you. So God talk, what's going on, brother? He said, yo, my brother looking healthy, man. I'm trying, brother. I'm trying. I'm about, I'm about to uh, get out of here as soon as I get off, as soon as I get off this this um, chat with y'all, man. But um, like I said, man, don't be surprised, bro. It's, you know, uh, but, but I think I'm headed towards that, you know, retiring the channel for good, you know. Uh, like I said, man, I I, I I appreciate what YouTube has has brought into my life. I appreciate the opportunities that have opened up since starting this channel. Um, but you know, right now, man, I'm just just kind of tired of it, really, you know. Um, and like I said, man, with all this crap YouTubers coming on, man, just uh. You would think, man, that people would go to go to overseas and respect the place, and and just you know, and if and if something bad happens, you know, all right, be honest about it because you got good experience, you got bad experience, but man, you got cats just like, oof. I mean, some of the stuff I hear, is, especially man, it's it's not the older cats, man. I hate to say it, but it's it's these it's these young black dudes, man. It's and I ain't saying all of them, man. Cause you got some, you got some good young boys out there doing their shit. Um, I like that dude, Mark, um, in Africa, intelligent, highly intelligent young man. Um, and you got quite a few others, man. So I'm not saying it's the majority, and it's not the majority. I, I would highly disagree. It's the majority. But like I said, man, it's those loud wheels, man. It's it's those. Uh, it's that it's that micro that that speak louder than the macro because a lot of cats man um especially older cats man you just you just want to roll and enjoy your life uh, but you got cats man want to talk about people's wives people kids people girlfriend who they sleep with i mean i don't understand how some how another man has enough time to worry about who somebody else sleeps I mean, really? I mean, how do you have enough time to do all that and then talk about people's kids? I mean, man, it's just crazy, man. I, I just, I can't get with that bullshit. It's just crazy. Mr. Jones, what's going on, sir? You say, Uncle Russ, I'm arriving late. Hope you're doing well. I, I am, I am, man, you know, I am. He says, see you next month. I got you duty free. Yes, sir. Um, hit me up, brother. You got my number, so just hit me up. Hit me up. My number ain't changed. <laughs> just, just hit me up. Just hit me up, brother. Just hit me up. My number ain't changed. And if you and if and if you misplaced it, <laughs> you changed your WhatsApp like I did and lost some numbers. Hit me on my IG, brother, so I can send it back to you. But I, but I'm still here, bro. Thank you for the super chat. Appreciate you. J Mo, he says, uh, I've been watching for a while. You got me through my anxiety during COVID. You're a good man, my brother. It was a dream to meet you one day. Don't leave us, brother. You are a 
a big brother to many. I appreciate, man. Thank you. I, I, and I honor that, man. And I don't take that sentiment lightly. So uh, I appreciate you. And I thank you, man. And uh, hey, man, y'all helped get me through that COVID too, man. So uh, <laughs> appreciate you. Thank you. Uh, Ken says, you say young dudes. Uh, do you mean young black Americans? Uh, yeah, I, I, I didn't say. Yeah, I mean, because I, I mean, I watch everybody, right? I, I watch my, my white brothers. I watch my Filipino brothers. I watch my Asian brothers. So I watch a lot of a lot of guys and and, and women. Because I, I like some ladies. Some of the ladies got some fantastic channel. But it seems like a lot of the negative, just the, the bullshit is coming out of those, you know, the, the young ones, man. I don't, I don't understand, man. You, if if you if if you're trying to create a brand, if you try to um live your life, your best life, and you're doing it at a young age, man, you should be proud of yourself. You should you should rock with that. Absolutely rock with that. Absolutely rock with that. Like I said earlier, you know, the thing with, with check and effect. When I when I, you know, you just giving that that uncle advice to check, like, hey, you know, cut, don't ever, ever go down that road no more. He listened, and now the brother done blew up. Uh, because you know, you you always gonna have people trying to take you out your lane you know jealousy the whole craziness uh and i watch some of these cats man who who can be like i mean just huge on on youtube build into a brand build into a business but all they want to do is concentrate on the negative and uh like i said i don't want to be a part of that community uh I, i've heard uh I forgot the name of that rapper, but they were asking him, would he ever put out any more music? And he said, not in the rap genre. He was one of the the the, the founders of rap. Yeah, man, that's a bad thing about you get old, you start forgetting people's names. And he said he wouldn't even do it no more. And I'm like, I'm a shock. He said he done moved on because he and, and he commented further about because he didn't like the direction that it that it was taking even ice even ice cube and i had the opportunity to meet ice cube one time um but he was saying about you know the whole rap game and he put out you know some serious hardcore shit um but he got older he got wiser and it's like man you, you know you just feel like if if you in that market, you'd be like, man, I don't want to be associated in that market. Anymore. And right now, not you know, and not that I do a bunch of negative videos because I don't, but I just don't want to be associated in the market anymore. So I'm gonna let people do what they do, and um, you know, it's time to exit. That's all. <laughs> it's time to exit. That's it. But yeah, you know, I, I gotta I gotta walk it like I talk it, brother. So yeah. Thank you, Andre 3000. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See, I got great people, man. I knew somebody would know. Yeah, he, he was, yeah, he's like, mm. and I was, I was shocked because I mean, he, he put out great fucking music. Great music. Love Andre 3000. But he's like, what he see now is, you know, the hammer's like, it's it's trash. Rod Clyde, what's going on, baby? He says, what's happening, big bro? I'm glad to see you. It's uh, got to see you on live, spreading knowledge. Yeah, well, brother, thank you. I appreciate it. You ain't going to see too many more. We about to we about to land, land the flight. <laughs> Virgil, what's happening? He said, I always find value in watching channel. I appreciate that, brother. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. So TMD, you influenced me to travel to Cuba 
and tithing. All right. Well, damn. I've been on, I've been a passport brother since 2002. You have inspired many. Kudos to you. Well, I appreciate that, man. I know you enjoy Cuba. Cuba gives you so much love, man. You, I, I, it's hard to believe that Cubans aren't, I mean, they don't like the American government, but Cubans got a lot of love for Americans. So yeah, brother, appreciate that. Thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I don't know if I said thank you uh, for the super chat, Virgil. Thank you, thank you. Ryder Clyde, thank you, thank you again for the super chat, brother. Appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you. All right, man. Well, anyway, just wanted to let y'all know what was happening. This this is not a this is not a, a clickbait. Um, but I ain't with you know because I know look one I know uh, <laughs> I had so many people uh, when I did delete the last channel, man. People was like, man, you just you could at least gave some warning, said something, blah, blah, blah. So I thought I'd just put it out there early. You know? Because, uh, <laughs> man, I'm taking cats walk up. I, I remember one dude walked up to me, man, and you would think I cussed the brother out. The brother, like, was kind of going off on me, man, in the street. I, at first of all, I didn't even know the dude. And he's like, tell tell him, mate. Man, I'm fucking mad at you. And I'm like, all right, dude, calm down. What's going on? He said, man, uh, man, uh. he said, man, you turn off your foot. And I'm like, dude, you know, all right. I said, I am, I'm glad we were standing by a bar. I said, all right. I said, brother, I said, bring it down. Let me buy you a drink. How's that? But you got to bring it down. And, uh, you know, he brought it down. Went and had a couple of drinks. But, yeah, man, I mean, that dude was like, I was shocked. I was literally fucking shocked. You would think I turned off his tap water or something. International towel. Let's go. International travels. What's going on, brother? Uh, nothing, man. Just, you know, trying to spread some love, man. Let people know that, uh, you know, this, 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 like every great show, <laughs> you know, this is the last season. <laughs> that's it brother that's it this is the last season mm. that's an idea Carl says hey Taylor don't leave no money on the table just sell the channel and have them change the name all those followers are worth something true that I like that I like that idea. But it got to be, like I said, man, it got to be with a brand I support. Got to be somebody doing something I support. That's a great idea, actually. But it got to be some, something, a brand that I support, man. Because I'm going to tell you, if you notice, man, I don't have a whole lot of um, interviews out there. I mean, I've done a few interviews, of course. A few collabs, of course. But I've had a lot more people ask me to collab with them and i some i put some i just flat out said no some i politely turned down and some i just avoided you know because you know i don't want to be seen on everybody's fucking channel you know and then when they spewing out shit and it's like yo man well russ you, you support him you was on his channel so i'm telling you man you, you, you gotta be careful how you once you got to have a brand, thanks for Carl for that. Uh, got to be careful with it. You got to be careful with it. I like that. Blame it on the alcohol. <laughs> when, you invite every, when you invite everybody to your party and say how good it is, you can't expect some undesirables. That's why you do invitation only. I saw it in Brazil back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts, facts, facts. You know, who knows, man? I may do something private, man. You know, I may do something private. Uh, there's this one dude. I'm trying to think of his name. He has the, he has a, he has a, he used to have Facebook. He has a YouTube channel now. But um, if you ain't a member on his channel, you can't even get, you can't even watch his videos. He's like totally paid like totally private 
Um, and I think it's a great idea, personally. I mean, listen, I, I don't knock any brother for for doing something good, something great, something that he can monetize. I ain't got no issue with that. Um, as long as it's positive, like I said, my whole thing, when people start doing negative shit and you spewing that out to the world, come on, man. There, there's enough negative in this world. There's enough negativity, man, without help creating a bigger giant. I remember one day when I did my um, my channel, man, I asked everybody that was that was on that day, man, to spend one day, spend one day, just positive everything. Don't gossip. Don't uh, do any or try not do any negative shit. Don't do any negative shit to somebody else. Stay positive for one fucking day. And man, the comments I got behind that after I put that chat that out were man was just really really uh, uplifting. That cats, you know, they 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 took the challenge. It says one day. Like no negative shit. None, 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 none. Not even cursing, which is, you know, I'm a cursing. <laughs> but for that one day, I, I I was just straight, all positive, all good energy. And uh, you know, maybe I should have did a couple more of those. <laughs> so anyway, uh, and that's uh, uh we're gonna miss you, bro. We're gonna miss you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, brother. Thank you for the super chat too. Uh Geronimo, what's going on? He says, uh, Godspeed, we appreciate the game you had you have given. All right. Well, like I said, I ain't on my last video yet, but uh it it, it won't be much more. It won't be much more. Uh, the season is definitely coming to an end for sure. It won't be much more. You believe that. All right, where's the uh, where's, where's the best place to get fresh muscle or oysters and, and potty? I'm gonna tell you, man. Um, oysters fresh, probably like right in those fish markets. Like they got a fish market down on Walking Street. Um, they got they just put one here in Patia near. Um, Terminal 21 Mall. They got it's a big open market and they got fresh fish. So one of those two places, um, it's is fresh. It's absolutely fresh. Absolutely fresh. DJ Mac, what's going on, bro? He says, You and Zoom are one of the few brothers I respect here in Thailand with me. I will always have respect. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. We'll catch you on a walk one day, my brother. Yes, sir. Believe it. Believe it. Believe it. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you for the super chat, brother. I post four times a year, once a quarter, and do many blocks. All right, we're talking about the same. I think we may be talking about the same brother. Um, but like I said, uh, he posts more blogs, but all this shit is like private. Cause I'm a ah damn. What's the number? What's the what's that cat's name? I can't think of it right now. But I'm a member on this channel because dude, all oh, he got some good positive shit. But <laughs> he definitely only does like you got to be a member to actually follow the brother. Yeah, a lot of stuff changed, man. The beat band, the beat. Renegade Gray says, thank you. Your content really changed after the pandemic. I remember a lot of a lot of the content in the beginning. You were exploring Port of Plata and really exploring and interviewing locals and location. Yeah, I mean, my my it it kind of went from like me getting out all the time to um me talking to you like I'm doing now because I, there were so many people that coming out with cameras, man. People now are are like like Get that out of my face, you know. And so, where it wasn't an issue back in back then, uh, I think a lot of people now kind of have issue. Unless, like, of course, the location they they want the advertisement. Of course, it's not, a, you know, so that's not a big thing. 
but I try to respect people's privacy. I've even um, I've even had one vlog up that was actually did very well that I would that I just kind of had around. Um, I think it was on the beach. Matter of fact, that was my biggest fucking video. That's the first time I ever hit like 100K videos. But there was a brother who um, was there and kind and saw himself right in the vlog, and um, you know we had a conversation, and out of respect for what he had going on, I took the vlog down because at that time I didn't know how to like because uh, it was live, so you know, so it's not like I recorded where I could take it down and edit that out and reload it, and I didn't know how you know YouTube didn't have all these tools where you could cut you know and all this shit up. I just took down the blog, man, just out of respect for the brother, you know, because I, I ain't trying to mess with people's shit. And you never know who sees what. So, like I said, it changed for me doing a lot of walking around location because, like I said, man, uh, right now you have a lot of people who just, you know, want to want to keep as much of their private privacy private. Now, if you, of course, in an open space, you know, hey, listen, there's cameras everywhere. But I certainly don't want to be the cause of um, of messes, you know, whatever somebody got going on, whether it's man, woman, whatever, you know, I ain't trying to be the cause of it, you know. So uh, out of respect for people, that's why I kind of changed the platform and start doing more videos like this. Um, and, a, and a lot of those those videos that I did, like I said, if they weren't live, uh, if they recorded videos and I show like places and, you know, things to do. Man, they, they they rarely get any hits, man. Cause I got so much shit on my on my phone, man. So much shit. But honestly, they rarely get any views, and I hate all that editing shit too. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Uh, man, Frank says I think it's the problem with a lot of YouTubers. They post too much by doing uh, that. They get burnt out. Um, uh, I, I think a lot of YouTube, you know, because after you just saying the same shit over and over again, you, you know, it, if you if you're not creating anything new and bringing anything new to the table, you, you're just regurgitating the same shit. And that's why, I like, you know, I like to talk about different things, you know, even stuff that ain't sex. You know, I, I've talked about, you know, cats dealing with depression, cats dealing with PTSD. Um. You know, uh, you know, uh, having, you know, diff I talked to and had a, extensively even had the brother on, Jorge, who, you know, moved his mom to the DR uh, because unfortunately she was, I think she was dealing with um, Alzheimer's. And I try to do different things like that, man. So, you know, but like I said, you know, it's, it seems like now, man, people just want to see tits and ass. You know, if, if it ain't about tits and ass, like they ain't. If you want, if you see the view, the, the the ones who get the videos that get the biggest views, all about tits and ass, or they on some really strong positive stuff. So the positive stuff gets a lot of recognition. Uh, finances get a lot of recognition. But like I said, man, um, you know, I, I try to include a little bit of, of everything. So that's why I talk to cats about finances about how to set stuff up about don't believe you need a million and a half dollars to retire uh, talk to people about you know pass and residual income you know different streams of income to uh, live and, and and live that dream and, and follow follow that dream you know get outside the box how you can have you know cat could be making 75,000 but then you get a remote job making 40,000 you can live anywhere in the world that you want to live so those are the kind of things, man, that I like to talk about, man, just to get cats thinking different, thinking different, seeing the different opportunities, man. Yeah, uh, he says, uh, I've been potty at three times. I've noticed that everybody congregates in one area because of Soy Six and Walking Street. But there are other areas just like um, we did in Copa, um, Copacabana. Yeah, I'm going to tell you, man, I, and, and you know some and those are hot spots. But I rarely go to um, 
so it's six. And I rarely go ever go to Walking Street. And there's one or two spots on Walking Street that I really like, really like. But, you know, I don't necessarily go there. Um, but those are two hottest spots that I, that I honestly really go to. Honestly, I do. I rarely go to those two spots. But they are, you know, the hot spots. All right, man. Anyway, it's about time to land this plane. So, like I said, man, you know, be on for a little, you know, a couple more shows I'm going to do. And then, um, like I said, we're going to end the season. But I just wanted to get out early, let people know, man, that I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Thank you for all the love over the years. Thank you for your time. Because, uh, man, you know, there's a lot of other folks you could be watching, man. But folks who take time to watch my channel. Really appreciate it. Thanks for all the support. Uh, really appreciate that as well. And uh, like I said, till we land the plane, um, you know, we're gonna I'm gonna put out some stuff, but definitely the season is coming to an end for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. Anyway, family, peace and love. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Uh, I think we out of here now. Theme music. No matter where we are.